Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, I'm going to answer another question from our Community for God Ordained Spouse Facebook group. So here's the question. What do you do when things keep getting worse and it looks like the prodigal and counterfeit are getting blessed? I can't help but feel like I'm being put to shame. All right. So God would never put himself to shame. You represent God. You are the one who God has made his covenant with. So he would never put himself to shame. Okay. And also God's blessings are with the one who's in covenant with him. All right. So God's blessing isn't on this counterfeit relationship. God doesn't bless prodigals. Okay. Because prodigals reject God. Prodigals are not in covenant with God. Prodigals, you know, uh, They've run from their heavenly father. So God's blessing isn't, isn't on this individual's life. It may look like blessing, but these are blessings that come from the devil. These um, blessings that come from the devil has an expiration date. Okay. Um, so I need you to understand that. But what's going on here, the reason why things keep getting worse and it looks like things are getting better for your, your prodigal and that counterfeit because while you're praying and fasting, you're being obedient, the enemy is fighting you, right? Uh, and the enemy is more than likely sending attacks your way, okay? So while you're being obedient, you're praying, you're fasting, you're breaking all of what hell has placed over your life in the heavenly realm. you breaking all these things down. you breaking down the sand, okay? Matthew chapter 7 talks about a house that is built on sand, you know, basically, I'm a paraphrase here, whenever, you know, um, a storm come up against it, it's going to come crashing down. But that house that's built on a rock is going to stand the test of time. So the house can represent you, okay, what you were built on. It can, it can represent your bloodline. It can represent, you know, um, your marriage promise, right? So Again, while you're praying and fasting, you know, you, you, you're tearing all this stuff down in the spirit realm. This is why in the physical things are getting worse because you see it, God is allowing you to see what is going on in the heavenly realm. OK, and understand, yes, it may look like the prodigal and counterfeit are getting blessed, but these blessings are coming from the enemy and these blessings has a expiration date. OK, when prodigals come up under curses for their disobedience, the curses, they don't immediately take effect. Like we don't immediately see the curses playing out in the in the person's life. OK, um, you would probably see it a year or two or three later, you know, all hell breaking loose in your spouse's life. Well, you might hear about it. OK, um, but the way how you want to proceed is uh going forward from here just continue to move forward continue to be obedient to what your heavenly father is telling you you know and let me i want to share these scriptures with you around being put to shame okay romans chapter 10 verse 11 it say for the scripture says everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame so i want you to write this scripture down romans chapter 10 verse 11 and i want you to remind yourself of this every single day Every time the enemy, you know, bring this to your mind and tell you you're being put to shame, I want you to remind that enemy of what Romans chapter 10, verse 11 say. According to the scripture, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. Therefore, because I believe in my heavenly father, I will not be put to shame. Okay, that's how you got to, you know, talk back to the enemy. In Isaiah 61, verse 7, it say, instead of your shame, there shall be a double portion. Instead of dishonor, they shall rejoice in their lot. So a double portion is coming for you. But the way how we get the double portion is by continuing to follow God's instruction. So whatever God, however way God is instructing you, you continue to be obedient to those instructions. You continue to follow the instruction. You know, when, when God tell you, get in your purpose, get in your purpose, because in the purpose is where you're going to receive the double portion. See, God's instruction, he's setting you up to walk into this double portion. He's setting you up to walk into your harvest, okay? But we got to give God time to, you know, position us where he needs us to be so that, 
you know, we could begin to like see the blessings of the Lord pouring out in our life. Okay. The tables does turn. The table will turn. Best believe it. Okay. The tables will turn. You, it's just a matter of being patient with the Lord, you know, and having our scripture, the weapon. Okay. This is part of your armor, the sword of the spirit. Okay. You have your scriptures ready, right? When that enemy come and tell you, you're being put to shame. No, according to Romans chapter 10, verse 11, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. God has a double portion in store for me. He said, I'm going to rejoice in my life. Okay. You could turn these into affirmations. You could turn these into decrees. You say out of your mouth every single day over your life, but understand God doesn't bless um, no counterfeit relationship. God's blessings are with the one who's in covenant with him. And that's you. So continue to follow God's instruction because he is leading you into these blessings. Okay. So with that, I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.